In this video, I want to have a look at inductive sequences or recursive sequences, as they're sometimes also known. But before I have a look at this exam question, I first of all want to introduce what an inductive sequence actually is. So let's go through an example. So un plus 1 equals 2un plus 3. Now in sequences, u is the term of a sequence. So this here says the n plus 1th term equals two lots of the nth term plus three. So this is a way of getting from one term to another. In GCSE, you might have called it a term-to-term -term rule. So that says the next term of a sequence is two lots of the previous term of a sequence plus three. The next term of a sequence is two lots of the previous plus three. So if I were to ask you to generate that sequence, we can't yet do it because we don't have a starting term. I need to give you that information up front. So let's say the starting term is 1. So that says the next term is 2 lots of the previous term plus 3. In this case, which is 5. Then the term after that, 2 lots of the previous term plus 3, which is 13. Next term, 2 lots of the previous term, plus 3, which is 29, and so on. But there's a much easier way of doing this on your calculator. So for, uh, for inductive sequences, first of all, we start off by putting the first term on the screen, then pressing equals, and that's now saved the first term into the answer button. So now, if I do 2 lots of the answer plus 3, press equals, I can see as predicted I get 5, there it is there. But the great thing about this is now 5's in the answer button, so all I have to do to get the next term is press equals again, 13 equals again 29, making it much easier. So now we know what an inductive sequence is, let's have a go at this exam question here. So it tells us that the first term of a sequence is 2. This is part one. The first term of a sequence is two. And the rule is that the next term, I always like to write it down in words, is one over one minus the previous term. So putting that in the calculator, one, rather two is the first term, then equals. So two is now saved in the answer button. So now to get the next term, we do one over 1 minus the previous, which we stored in the answer. So, pressing equals, the second term is minus 1. The third term is 1 half. The fourth term is 2. And the fifth term is minus 1. Now notice that it goes round in this repeating pattern. 2 minus 1, 1 half, 2 minus 1, 1 half. So what's happening here? This sequence is called a periodic sequence, a one that just cycles around the same numbers. So part 2, deduce the value of u200, shown your reasoning. Well, if every three terms it repeats, we want to see how many of these triplets we can pull out of 200. So 200 divided by 3 is 66, 66 and 2 thirds in fact. So 200 divided by 3 equals 66 and 2 thirds. That means the 66 of these whole cycles will, will get out with two numbers left over. So if we start the sequence again, those two numbers are 2 and minus 1. Therefore, the 200th term or in proper sequence notation, U200 equals the second term of this, which is minus 1. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.